Hi there guys, it's Justin here again. In today's video, I'm going to show you a very cool little program called uh, Windows Privacy Dashboard, or WPD for short. And what that program does is once you go into your settings, you go to privacy. So now all these settings over here, unless you block the telemetry or switch them off, what they do is they, they send telemetry to update servers somewhere on the web and it keeps on sending your data and your information. Uh, you don't want that. You want to block all of this. So just leave on camera and microphone. But I'm going to show you how to do that via WPD. So in the description of the video, I'm going to post a link to this website over here. Just go ahead and download WPD and then just extract uh, the WPD EXE folder to your desktop. It's a portable program, so you don't have to install it. Once you have it on your desktop, now I've actually pinned it to my start menu. Once you have that, just go ahead and open the program. It's going to take about 5 to 10 seconds, so just be patient. Right, so this is an awesome little program. So I'm going to, I've already optimized my computer with it. And as you can see, I've got a stable build and everything's running nicely on my computer. So I'm going to show you what my settings are. Under privacy, local group policy. Now all these knobs are normally switched on and they're blue. So just go ahead and switch off all these settings over here. Under Microsoft Edge, um, I've uh, deselected all this. I switched them off. And as I'll show you later, by apps, I've actually deleted Microsoft Edge, the hell of my computer. Because... I hate the fact that Windows forces Microsoft Edge on you. I don't like the way it, uh, it runs. I, as you can see, I use Opera rather. So anyways, go ahead and de uh, deselect all these options here. And the services, deselect connected user experiences, deselect Microsoft Diagnostics, because you don't want uh, telemetry, uh, telemetry to be running and Windows to be sending di your diagnostics to their update server. And the task scheduler, Go ahead and switch off all these settings over here. Local group policy. So deselect all these. Even if you deselect Windows Defender Antivirus, it always switch on again. So just leave Windows Defender Antivirus. Um, app permissions. Like I said earlier, you're going to let apps access your camera and you're going to let apps access your microphone. Everything else you're going to go ahead and switch off. But on the services, deselect everything, switch them off. And then miscellaneous, go ahead and deselect all these and switch them off. Right, and that brings us to blocker. So what it's going to look like for you is this. So just go ahead and add the telemetry rule, which blocks Windows telemetry completely and fully. Extra, switch on, update. You're going to block Windows Update. If you want to unblock Windows Update and you want to help update your system at any time, just go ahead, delete the rule, do your update, and once your update is finished, just select Update to block again. Right, and that brings us to the third section, which is my favorite section of this app. So yeah, it gives you a list of all the, the, the bloatware which is installed when you install Windows. So I've deleted everything. They're normally about 23, 23, 24 apps over here. So the ones you don't want to delete, everything else you can delete. The ones you don't want to delete and you want to keep on your system is the Intel Graphics Command Center, Microsoft Windows, Microsoft Store, NVIDIA Control Panel, Realtek Audio, and Store Experience Host. All the other bloats, go ahead and select it, and then say delete selected. And that, that's it, you're done. Right, so as you can see, once I open up my start, all those bloat programs over here, I've deleted it straight off my computer. That's the joy of Windows Privacy Dashboard. It allows you to delete, to delete the programs you can't get rid of manually. Right, guys, that's been today's video. If you enjoyed the content, please leave me a like. If you've got any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And as always, I'm a fledging channel. I'm looking to grow. So please go ahead and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. But most importantly, go have a good day. And there's people like you that make a difference in this world. Cheers.